cave horror project, Minecraft fucking sex dungeon slave. You already know how fuck it is over here. And a super secret fucking bunker that nobody else knows about but me. Hell and yeah. I'm gonna be fucking using this shit to the fucking fullest. All of my broke ass two friends fucking struggling to get some loot. I'm over here living the lavish life in my secret bunker. But there are some problems huh? after all. Not only are the mobs fucking scary as shit, where they could kill you in like probably one hit if they really wanted to, but they just want to play with you like you're their little fucking plaything. But the music is also insanely fucking loud and it doesn't want to turn off for some reason. Meanwhile, here Brian's pulling up to your crib and just putting graffiti of his name all over your shit. Man, fuck Hero Brian. Anyways, let's get into the gameplay. Dude, that spider was huge. I'm huge. I'm huger. Uh, so maybe not right there after all. So I decided to go on a quick mining trip. But if you didn't know, this is part two of my series for the Cave Horror Project mod. If you like the editing style, please let me know because it's my first time ever doing it like this. Oh yeah, I also found out how to turn on the shaders. Dude, what the Holy fuck. Oh nah, bro. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna run these shaders. My computer's gonna die. So that happened. I ended up continuing mining and that's when I ran into a cave. That's when I ran into a new mob. But this guy was pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what the fuck are you? Oh hell no. Dude, is it actually that fucking hard to get like Bitch. some type of Bitch. iron? Come on, summon. I think we're I followed your torch. Yeah, yeah. Me. So he ended up dropping a piece of dark metal, which you can combine into a pile of dark metal, which then lets you craft the bone rod. And that bone rod is able to be converted into many different cool modded weapons. So I started expanding my base a little bit more, but then I got the urge to go explore. But my friend was above my base for some reason, so I had to cap him out. I then robbed the villagers under my base, which I don't know how the hell they made a baby, but I only see this guy. Yeah, I'm oy, worried, oy, where you at? So I ended up finding these cool butterflies which would let me mount them, but it wouldn't let me fly them and- Put your finger in my butt one time, don't shame on you. Put it two times, don't sniff your finger. Oh uh, yeah, this kid was just being weird the whole time, I'm not gonna lie. The night quickly set and it was a blood moon, and I was trying to get home so desperately in the dark. Do you even think it- Wait, does it even drop diamonds? Oh my gosh. Oh. Help. Holy uh. shit, I'm being jumped! I'm in notice here. What the fuck are you? Bro, there's a big ass demon on me. He's like down there. That was not no damn wolf. Holy shit! Dude, Don't fuck with this wolf. motherfucker. These kids are more attracted to us than we are to them. I killed it! So this boss called a life stealer ended up dropping eight freaking pieces of dark metal and four seeds of chaos which seeds of chaos are pretty trash i'm not gonna lie there was also these life stealer bones but i did not want to get the cheese touch as it says vampire touch and there's probably no difference he definitely puts his fingers up his butt but it's okay he gets a pass well speaking about the cheese touch i bet this guy has it i spent the next day just killing any animal i could find to the most anticlimactic music while i'm literally just fucking farming i ended up finding these cool trees which would really set the mood for a dude. scary game and then there's this tree even at daytime it looks better than oak but now look at it i'll later show the build i made with this wood but for now let's get back into it my friend decided to try to reconcile with me after being so mean you know how you always wanted food i like this like is there gonna be a snack yeah dude oh shit i dropped it somewhere wait i'm gonna keep this for personal reasons later Hey, yo. What the fuck? What is that? No, you don't see that forest over there? Look. I do. Oh, fuck that guy, bro. He's just forced with and shit. Right, I'm funny. Alone, then. Yeah, he probably already was here. Huh? Probably already been here over here, dude. I'm gonna come over here to the tower, dude. I'm just gonna on again. So after getting my payback, I decided to work on my base more. I started by moving these freaky villagers downstairs and giving them a new home, and then covered my tracks right after I finished with them. After all that, I decided to go check out the tower for myself and take any scraps they might have left. And boy, oh boy, did they leave some scraps. It was mainly just the bookshelves which came in the tower, and I also ended up getting some bones and stuff from my farm, which was pretty useful. We also found a new mob called an anomaly, which is one of Hero Brian's minions. Oh, it? what the fuck? The fuck? And the Hero Brian oh, guy. Oh, he did. What, what, what the fuck is that? Oh fuck. What the fuck is he? See that here? What the fuck? Oh yeah. It's, it's here, Brian. Get that bitch out of my I, What the fuck? So basically, Herbine just watched us pack up his homie, and he ran away like a little pussy. He soon after sent another one of his goons, but this guy was just more of an intimidation tactic, so he didn't really try anything because he knew I would have packed him up too. With all the books I acquired from the tower, I decided to make bookshelves for the future enchant table. Hey, watch this freestyle. Oh, mi madre llora. Bring you una bella, no, I'm 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 bella, no, I'm
Yo, how to double up. How to double up. How to double up. Oh. Yeah, she's getting excluded from the video. She was not it. How to double up. How to up the scary mods on this game or what? Oh. Really, dude. Got a Drake in my pants. That shit moves around when I dance. Register Defender. It should just turn into a diss track. This track, watch the beat switch. <laughs> I'm about to murder you on this track, fool. This ain't a diss track, this is a murder. Gonna put his ass all in the. Oh, I can't rhyme, bro. That shit was so ass, he had to get up, but he left one more message for us. Oh, Jonathan got pwned. Jonathan got owned. I put it in his butt, and then that fool moaned. Oh, ho, ho. I was going, I was going. My laptop is about to die. Which means I'm gonna edit because I need to finish my Resident Evil video. Yup, so my fat ass lied and I stayed on. I'm even gonna fucking lie, but while you're here watching this video, the Resident Evil video is out, so you should probably watch that video. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. Also, please like and subscribe. This video is taking me so long to learn to do stuff. Nope, to watch them have sex. So, since I was on the server alone, I decided to invite myself for a friendly little loot inspection. Hero Brian is watching me watch their loot. They finally made a baby. The baby villager took the food I dropped, so now I'm scared the same thing's gonna happen again. Flashback. I don't know how the hell they made a baby, but I only see this guy. End of flashback. I'm a savage, whatever. <laughs> I decided it was best to stay quiet, so I started villager trading with the suspect instead and later went mining. Holy shit! What the fuck are you? Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I fucking finally died. Oh my fucking god, I had my shield equipped. With my dignity stolen, I decided I still wanted to keep on trying to find anything I could. Even iron. I was really broke at this point. Like, I have not done shit, but just work on my villager base. <gasps> Diamonds! No way! Nice. <gasps> More diamonds should I walk over. With all the diamonds I found, I made myself some better tools. After, I decided to break down every tree in a 20 mile vicinity because fuck the Lorax. Bro, you were not scary, little bro. Get alive. God. Oh, has no life. What the? Do I fight him? You can't bitch ass up, but you're not fighting no one. As no one could have probably expected, I then went back to work on my villagers. And then a friend paid a visit. What? They spawned an iron golem. No way! I ended up saving him and then I went back to work, per usual. I wanted to end up making a villager farm base, but I didn't have any tools for it yet, so I just decided to go outside and kill any mob I could find. Oh! Oh! Come out of the fog! Come out of the fog! Jonathan! Help! Boy, it's gonna break your shield. Oh, you fucking glitch. Oh! Oh! I barely got out. I then built a distraction around my base so they actually think I'm living in it. What the fuck? But every time he does that, he whistles. Why something glowing? Is that hero brand? No, it's one of the shadow ninjutsu. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! What the fuck you mean shadow ninjutsu? Dude, I killed it, but I don't know what the fuck it did. We then ended up going on a little adventure. Oh, wait, 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 don't break it yet! No, something else! Oh! Hey, I'll kill this shit, I'll kill this shit, Jonathan. What fuck the pumpkin guy, and I'll kill this guy in the meanwhile. Holy shit! What the fuck? I think I'm gonna die. I can't see shit. Dude. Dude, that shit's OP, bro. It sucked me in. I can't see shit. So we both ended up dying, and the mobs despawned. That made me shift from adventuring to progressing. Oh! 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 Oh my god! There's a fucking Mega Man! What the fuck what? you wanna call this piece of shit? Oh, he's fucking humongous! Wait, what, what are they called? I don't even know. I'm, I'm not getting that close. You're tripping yourself. Oh, oh, oh! He spawned some shit on me! If you die, you're not really sick. Dude, 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 he does hella damage. Dude, he's having sex with me! Jonathan! Dude, dude. No. I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna die. Bro, oh, 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 oh. don't die. Don't die, bro. Oh my god, he's still coming. Dude, I'm dead. I can't take another hit. I dodged it. Oh my 
Bro, you, he died in the missionary? Dude, that motherfucker is humongous. Dude, I'm telling you, he was five blocks fucking tall. He had a big ass staff. I'm just gonna spam the fucking whispers staff. behind you. What the fuck? Yeah, you're right. That shit. Wait, wait. What the fuck? There's another big ass dude. But he's a skeleton. Oh my, dude, he takes no damage. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, he's about to put me in doggy this time. It's here, man. Dude, I'm gonna jump by everything. He's slow as fuck though, so I don't really gotta worry. No, this fucking creeper blew up. What? Wait, what? Do I think the creeper killed him? Found a roach spawner. Bro, no way. Apparently there's a backpack in the game. There's a backpack? I don't think you can make it though. I think you have to find it. Apparently there's backpacks, which would be poggers as fuck right about now. Dude, okay. the mobs on the ground are so fucking weird. The glitter? What the fuck? Holy shit! Dude, the cool mobs are on the ground. I'm not even like, prank him, John. What the fuck happened to me? I can't see. Jonathan, help. I can't see. Prank on John. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is happening to me. I'm dying. What did you, how'd you get that achievement? I got, I killed something and now I'm dying in the corner. I'm about to die. I got, I killed something and now I'm dying in the corner. I'm about to die. Straight after the L, I decided to keep on mining. And then I ended up encountering something very cool. I didn't let this get me down and per usual, I just kept on exploring. I found a village. Oh my god, what are the odds? I ended up ravaging the village. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Why am I actually doing this? Oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh. And then I ended up cheesing him. Straight after that, I finished desecrating the village. I cheesed another one of those fishes for fun. And then I started the villager breeding some more. Right after that, I smashed some chips and then I got back into it. I tried transferring some villages into my trading center, but this happened. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Queen. What? So in this mod, whenever you hit a villager, they actually have a chance to become possessed. And whenever you kill them, they start to raid. Bro, why'd you bring a fucking raid to the base? She's got to head down. I started making the villager trade center and then the man of the fog decided to visit us. Can't sleep. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's cause... It's cause he's here. Wow, this shit really snitches me fucking out. I cannot tell them there's a way to see the fucking caves. Cause if they see this shit, I'm like, what the fuck is all this bullshit? Uh-uh. Even like this, they can see all my villagers over here. Oh. You stupid n- well, fuck you too then, man. After the man of the fog decimated my base and made me fucking fix it, this happened. <gasps> oh my fuck. What? He is hostile. Oh. Oh my god. Pretty productive day. Basically, I'm trying to make this a villager auto farm. But fucking potatoes, wheat, carrots here. I don't know whatever the fuck I want. And then over here, this is my villager breeding fucking place. Keep on spawning iron golems that want to murder me, but and then here Brian keeps on watching me. Over here, make a auto chicken fucking egg spawner. I still haven't finished it. And then over here. Bro, look at this. What the fuck, man? Come on. Spawning me so much fucking iron though. Dude, the iron golems are really gonna snitch on my secret base. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm only a couple blocks from the fucking roof, so they could honestly hear that shit. Hero Brian, fuck off. 
But back to what I was saying, so this is gonna be like the fucking villager trading system. I barely set them up. I have not created a single one yet. Yep, it's gonna be all them trading over here. You know, uh, more space if I need it. About it. And then over here, it's the main base so far. Got a little bit of farm here since I haven't set up the other one. My loot, pretty ass so far. Loot, 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 loot. Now I got my cave down there. Uh, little furnace action. I don't really got too much, you know. Like I said, I've just been mining and working on this bullshit. So I don't really think I'm gonna put too much of it in the video. It's honestly, it might be like two minutes. Fucking did a little bit off cam mining. Put a drill up here. This is my house. You know, I fucked around. I'm gonna upgrade my house soon. I'm gonna make it look better. Hopefully, more discreet. People which know. Those who know. This is what it looks like so far. And like I said, it's very low to the ground. I think I hear iron golem right now. And this is their base while I'm at it. So, this is their base. There's random fucking flames. And daddy long legs is all over me. There's multiple. Oh, damn, daddy. Uh, they're pretty broken, pretty me. Pretty safe. Usual shit. <laughs> my riggedy Roo ah dad smacked me in the back of the head with a steering wheel. Ow! I pushed my grandpa into oncoming traffic. This is the only proof of me living here. Like, how believable does this fucking look? Like, I may be, I'm pretty broke, but my friend seems to think I'm like fucking so much more above him. I don't know. I do not need all this bullshit, so I'm just gonna upgrade him. Oh my god. Did I just get scammed? Did he sell it for me? I mean, to me for 16? No, no, yeah. no, no, no! Okay. Motherfucker scanned me. Wait, are these guys like that too? Man, fuck this game. I'm gonna go to sleep.